let the mind settle down. It has work to do all the time. And all too often, even when you give it the chance to rest, it still wants to do more work, either for the sake of entertainment or because it feels it should. It's constantly churning out ideas, looking for new ideas to churn out. So it goes a little bit against the grain to say, rest. And when it's settled down, it wants to churn out something more. It says, well, what's next? And you have to say, well, this is what's next, just learning how to stay here. This is the skill. Getting the mind with the breath is not that hard, but getting it to stay with the breath over time. That's where you have to reason with the mind. This is saying nothing is getting accomplished. This is stupid. What you're getting accomplished, of course, is you're developing new habits in the mind. The mind, like everybody else, needs to rest. We sleep, of course, but it's not the same. When we sleep, we just drift off and lose mindfulness, and the mind just kind of churns out whatever. As I say, it's sorting through the memories of the day and throwing out some and re re retaining others. So the mind is working even while you're sleeping. And when you're meditating, there's also a little bit of work, but it's a different kind of work. You're doing this with mindfulness. You're doing this with alertness, with discernment. And you're seeing this is an important quality to have in the mind, a place for the mind to rest, gather its strength. Because even though you may not be coming up with any interesting new ideas, it's like work of any kind. If you just work, 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 and don't take time to, to eat, take time, time to stop, take time to rest, okay, you end up breaking down. It's like taking a trip. You want to get to your destination fast, but every now and then you have to stop and have some food and put some gas in the car. Otherwise, you wouldn't make it to the end. So the mind needs a place to rest. And resting like this is different from sleeping in that you're actually building strengths in the mind, the mindfulness that keeps you here, the alertness that keeps you here, the conviction that this is something really good to do. All these qualities get strengthened. So it's not like the mind is doing nothing at all or accomplishing nothing at all. By being quiet, you're actually developing a lot of good qualities. At the same time, the mind gets to rest with full awareness and learn to look at a lot of its other make-work projects as just that, realizing that we get involved in so many things simply to have something to do. Often with very little thought as to whether it's going to be useful or not. Just the mind feels okay busying itself all the time. And it doesn't feel okay when it's told to be quiet. So you've got to learn how to change your system of values inside to see that the quiet really is useful. It's a necessary part of having a healthy mind. And it's not being irresponsible. You said if you want to get your responsibilities done, you'll have to learn how to rest and you'll have to learn how to put them down from time to time. So see the value of concentration. One of the chants we have is assessing respect, having respect for concentration. It's not automatic. There's a lot, a lot of the mind has no respect for concentration at all. So we have to learn how to train the mind to see the value of being still, not coming up with any new ideas at all, just protecting what you've got right here, right here, right here. You can accomplish a lot by doing nothing in this way. 